Pascal as Secretary of State around the world. On the issue of immigration, at last night's State of the Union, a DREAM activist was among the guests invited by First Lady Michelle Obama, and that was 23-year-old Christiana Vila of Arizona, fasted for 22 days to push for immigration reform as part of the Fast for Families campaign, which took place on the National Mall. But Obama made no reference to Avila and limited his remarks on immigration to this short passage. If we're serious about economic growth, it is time to heed the call of business leaders, labor leaders, faith leaders, law enforcement, and fix our broken immigration system. <laughs> Republicans and Democrats in the Senate have acted, and I know that members of both parties in the House want to do the same. Independent economists say immigration reform will grow our economy and shrink our deficits by almost $1 trillion in the next two decades. And for good reason. When people come here to fulfill their dreams, to study, invent, contribute to our culture, they make our country a more attractive place for businesses to locate and create jobs for everybody. So let's get immigration reform done this year. Lorella Praelli, your response to President Obama addressing immigration last night. So um, this has been the same rhetoric that we've been hearing for the last five years. Uh, President Obama getting up and saying it's time for immigration reform. I'm committed to making it happen. And I think some, some people interpret last night's um, 121 words or one paragraph on immigration by the president as his positioning to be a little bit more cautious, given that the Republican Party is about to release their principles on immigration reform and the way forward. But frankly, um, for us, we don't need to give any room to the president on deportations, and we don't need to give any more room to Republicans on immigration either, because we have been waiting and we have been fighting uh, to get something done. So I think that the president's remarks could have— um, could have really gone in deeper into the details and, and set some legislative markers as well. He spent quite a bit of time in his speech talking about the meaning of citizenship. Um, he spoke a lot about American values, and I think he could have connected the current struggle and the current conversation happening in America about um, what does it mean to be an American? What does it mean when we talk about citizenship? And how do we treat and deal and integrate the 11 million people who are undocumented? So I think he didn't do enough. Uh, in this year's State of the Union, especially given that um, he says immigration reform is his top domestic priority. Uh, Lorella, we want to talk about what it was like there last night. You were an invited guest, uh, and also go more into detail about what is holding up uh, any kind of vote on immigration reform. To t and also talk about your own story. Lorella Praelli is with the United We Dream Coalition. Jeremy Scahill has an Oscar nominated film this year. It is called Dirty Wars. And Bob Herbert is with us, former New York Times columnist with Demos. Stay with us. Mr. President, I set me down to send you greetings from my hometown and send you best wishes from all the friends I know in.